In a world where the quest for meaning is eternal, a new vision emerges. John Verveyke, a thinker like no other, challenges the very foundations of spirituality and religion. Imagine a journey beyond the confines of traditional belief systems, a path that weaves together the wisdom of the ages with the realities of our modern world. Discover the religion that is not a religion, a revolutionary concept that reshapes our understanding of faith, spirituality, and community. Join us as we delve into this groundbreaking philosophy, uncover the potential to transform not just the soul, but society itself. This is not just a conversation, it's a revelation, a new dawn of spiritual awakening. The journey begins now. John Verveyke is more than a cognitive scientist. He's a visionary thinker with a mission to transform our understanding of religion and spirituality. With a rich background in cognitive psychology and cognitive science, he is currently an assistant professor at the University of Toronto where he teaches courses on the topics of cognition, wisdom, and enlightenment. Verveyke is also deeply invested in the philosophy of mind and the science of consciousness, constantly pushing the boundaries of our understanding. His work is not confined to the academic sphere, however. He takes a keen interest in bridging the gap between scientific understanding and practical wisdom, aiming to bring these complex concepts into the everyday lives of people. He offers a fresh perspective in a world increasingly identifying as spiritual but not religious. His vision, a spiritual framework that combines the best of traditional religions with our modern scientific understanding. This isn't about replacing religion but evolving it to meet our contemporary needs and knowledge, making spirituality more relevant and meaningful in our lives. He recognizes the human need for meaning, community, and personal transformation that religions have traditionally fulfilled. Yet, he also acknowledges the drawbacks of dogmatic belief systems and the disconnect many feel with the supernatural aspects of traditional religions. Instead, he advocates for a spirituality that is rooted in practices that cultivate wisdom, self-transformation, and a deep sense of interconnectedness. It's a conversation that challenges us to rethink what spirituality can mean in the 21st century. Verveke's innovative ideas, rooted in practices that cultivate wisdom and interconnectedness, invite us to explore what spirituality can truly mean in the 21st century. Imagine if you could step into a world where spirituality is reimagined, a place where the conventional boundaries of religion dissolve. This is precisely the concept that John Verveke proposes, a religion that is not a religion. It's a bit like trying to picture a square circle, isn't it? Yet, when we delve into the heart of this idea, we find it's not as contradictory as it first appears. To understand this, we first need to redefine what we mean by religion. So often, religion is associated with dogma, with a rigid belief systems and with institutions steeped in tradition. Yet at its core, religion is about connection. Connection to something greater than ourselves, connection to other people, and connection to the world around us. Verveika's concept challenges the traditional structures of religion. He suggests that these structures, though they have provided that connection for many people throughout history, have also been the source of division, conflict, and even violence. In our increasingly global and interconnected world, these traditional religious structures can often do more to separate us than to unite us. Verveika invites us to redefine religion, not as a structure that divides, but as a bridge that connects us to something greater. This is the essence of a religion that is not a religion. It's about creating a new kind of spirituality, one that can be embraced by anyone, regardless of their beliefs or lack thereof. It's about building a community not based on shared beliefs, but on shared practices and values. But this is not to say that traditional religions are without value. On the contrary, they contain wisdom and practices that have stood the test of time. Verveika's concept is about extracting these valuable aspects and integrating them into a new kind of spirituality, one that is adaptable, inclusive, and focused on fostering connection. Verveika's revolutionary concept strips religion down to its purest essence, focusing on unity and shared human values. This is a call to embrace a new kind of spirituality, inclusive and adaptable, rooted in ancient wisdom but flowering in the modern world. His challenge is more than just an intellectual exercise, it's an invitation to re-envision our spiritual journey and build communities that thrive on connection and growth in our ever-evolving world.
What makes a religion? According to Verveike, it's not what we've been taught. It's not about supernatural beliefs or rigid dogmas. Instead, it's about a shared journey of spiritual growth and exploration. The first key element of Verveike's new approach is extracting the valuable aspects of traditional religions. This doesn't mean cherry-picking beliefs or practices, rather, it's about understanding the wisdom and knowledge that have been cultivated over centuries. It's about recognizing the profound insights into human nature and the universe that religions have to offer. We're talking about principles like compassion, forgiveness, humility and mindfulness, which are universal and deeply enriching. The second key element is emphasizing spirituality without supernatural beliefs. This might seem like a contradiction at first. After all, aren't gods, angels and miracles part and parcel of being religious? But Verveke suggests that we can have a deep sense of awe, wonder and interconnectedness without invoking the supernatural. We can feel a profound connection to the universe and each other, grounded in our shared humanity and our place in the cosmos. Finally, the third key element is building a community around shared practices and values. This is crucial because we're social creatures. We thrive on connection, cooperation, and shared experiences. A community gives us a sense of belonging, a space to grow, and a collective identity. It's not about conforming to a set of beliefs, but about nurturing a shared journey towards greater understanding, empathy, and wisdom. Imagine a space where we can explore life's big questions, learn from each other's experiences, and support each other's spiritual growth. A space where we can cultivate virtues like compassion, forgiveness, and humility. A space where we can connect deeply with each other and the universe without the need for supernatural beliefs. In essence, Verveeki is proposing a new way of spiritual living. A way that cherishes the wisdom of the past, embraces the complexities of the present, and looks forward to a future of growth, exploration, and shared understanding. It's a bold, exciting vision, and one that could transform how we understand and practice spirituality. Every radical idea faces resistance. Verveeki's concept is no exception. It's a bold vision to reshape our understanding of religion and spirituality. And naturally it doesn't come without its own set of challenges and criticisms. One potential hurdle is the difficulty of extracting valuable aspects from traditional religions without carrying over their harmful elements. It's a delicate balancing act. How do we retain the essence of spirituality without the dogma and divisive elements that often accompany organized religions? This is a question that has to be addressed meticulously. Another challenge is the skepticism that surrounds the idea of a religion without religion. Some critics argue that removing supernatural beliefs from religion may leave it hollow, devoid of the profound mystery and awe that often accompany religious experiences. They suggest that it might transform into a mere social club rather than a spiritual community. There are also those who question the feasibility of building a community around shared practices and values without a unifying belief system. They argue that common beliefs act as the glue that holds religious communities together. Without it, would the structure hold? Lastly, there's the challenge of acceptance. In a world where traditional religions have been deeply rooted for centuries, how open are people to this new concept of spirituality? Despite these challenges, Verveike's ideas continue to spark intriguing conversations. His vision certainly opens up new avenues to explore our spiritual nature in a contemporary and inclusive way, and that in itself is a fascinating journey to embark on. What happens if we take Verveke's idea off the page and into the world? By applying the concept of a religion that is not a religion, we are venturing into a new realm of spirituality. It's a realm where the focus shifts from rigid doctrines to flexible individual spiritual practices. Imagine a world where spirituality is not dictated by preconceived notions, but is rather a personal journey, tailored to each individual's unique experiences and perspectives. This approach has the potential to foster deeper self-understanding, leading to personal transformation. It can provide a framework for individuals to explore their spiritual dimensions without the constraints of traditional religious structures. In essence, it offers a platform for personal growth and transformation, rooted in introspection and self-discovery, but the implications extend beyond the personal level. At a community level, this new form of spirituality can foster a sense of unity and shared purpose. By focusing on shared practices and values rather than specific beliefs, communities can come together in a spirit of mutual respect and understanding. 
It has the potential to bridge divides, creating an inclusive space where diverse perspectives are not just tolerated, but celebrated. In essence, Verveke's concept has the potential to redefine how we approach spirituality, both individually and collectively. It presents a vision of a more inclusive understanding and personally fulfilling spiritual landscape. The implications of Verveke's concept are far-reaching and transformative. Verveke's ideas challenge us to reconsider our views on religion and spirituality. They prompt us to question the structures that have shaped our beliefs, and to explore new ways of understanding the world and our place in it. These ideas aren't designed to replace traditional religions, but rather to offer an alternative for those who find themselves spiritually inclined, yet disconnected from established dogmas. This concept of a religion that is not a religion invites us to extract the valuable aspects of traditional faiths, while leaving behind any elements that may seem restrictive or outdated. It encourages us to build a community around shared practices and values, emphasizing spirituality without the necessity for supernatural beliefs. As we reflect on these ideas, let's consider our own views about religion and spirituality. How do we define these terms for ourselves? What role do they play in our lives? How might our experiences change if we were to embrace a religion that is not a religion? Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video.